Welcome to our kitchen, 842, live shot from the Century Plaza Hotel and Spa. If your kitchen needs an update, kind of like ours at BT does, <laughs> have no fear. Carla Dreyer is here. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Happy to be here and inspired to uh, decorate in a non-reno way the BT kitchen. Wonderful. What's up first, the, the, the just paint. simple paint is job? Paint. Yeah? Number one thing you can do is paint. And you know what? I think what happens is people are stuck with kitchens. They're not stuck with it, but they have a kitchen they may not love but not want to do a reno but there are things you can do yourself and inexpensively and hands down painting and you're a big fan of white yeah I am a huge fan of white because it goes with everything it goes with all kinds of styles um, you know especially if you're selling or anything too people love white kitchens and I think we have a little before and after of a kitchen that was brown and then was painted white. That's the before of it. So you can just see, prove my point here about I feel it, like right? I'm in 2001 maybe. <laughs> yeah, and there you go, white paint. That's the same kitchen. That's the same kitchen. So you'd be amazed. And even if you don't like your cupboard style, because a lot of people will say that to me too. They say, well, I don't like the style of the cupboards. You would be amazed again. Just paint it and see, because you, you won't even notice those things you don't like. All right, so let's I can't take a look that enough. at another reno free way to update your kitchen. And just slap a few of these on? Yeah, basically it's like stickers now. So you can get backsplashes. This one's mimicking a marble subway tile that you literally peel the back of it and it becomes a sticker. Do you need yeah. any particular talent or skill set to get I, these on straight or is it fairly easy? I think it's fairly easy. I mean, you want to like, you know, you don't want to you want to be paying attention, I think, while you're doing it, but this is definitely a do-it-yourself. Here's a great before and okay, after using this, these. These are actually stick-on tiles. I was sourcing and obsessed with these because this is a really big trend right now, so it's also another way you can experiment with something that's non-committal. These are vinyl. And these ones, too, that we have um, are they like... They look a, like metal. They are. They're metal. Oh, they are metal. Yeah, they're like a, but like a subway tile. Again, the back, peel and stick, and you could do different things. Like, you could have them right on top of each other or stagger them or do a chevron if you want to get really fancy. What's a chevron? That's, <laughs> that's we'll talk about show. that later. <laughs> and then one more. This is a big sheet here. You could actually just uh, double-sided tape this. Can Hold you give me an idea? How much does something like this cost? This was $21. Okay, so yeah. imagine your kitchen. You can imagine how cheap that might be just yeah, to do back the backsplash. Or the front of the island. I thought for here, the front of the island. That All right, good. let's move on to hardware. Okay, what can we do hardware. To it's the jewelry of the kitchen, right? Oh, you like beautiful. your jewelry. Yeah. So you're going to have nice jewelry. And again, these are first from like the big box hardware store. I love like going with a matte black that really updates things. Get like a bigger knob that always makes it look more current um, or gold. Let's Love take a look at the, the photos gold. of the hardware. So there you go. White painted, updated hardware. Classic Just, Carla Dreyer. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Am to I know convincing you? you yet? <laughs> Update. That looks amazing. Uh, this is a big one too with, with lighting. I, I just moved into a new townhome in yeah. Ladner and that is the one thing that I haven't done because I feel overwhelmed by the potential cost. Okay. But no. I can see by the tag here, this yeah. only cost you $50. Yes. Yeah. This is my public service announcement, is there's lots of bad lighting out there, and we inherit the lighting that came with the place, right? That's what happens, and we don't think about it. Lighting is can change. It's like having bad shoes, you know? Like with a good outfit and then bad shoes if you have bad lighting. It just makes such a difference. Um, you know, putting something like this, changing your kitchen pendants, I just think makes it more modern and fresh. So, yeah, don't be afraid to do it. You can get it at all kinds of price points now. Okay, I want to take a look at uh, one more photo after we see this one, which is just what Again, lighting can do lighting. to the kitchen. Um, yeah, I, I love black too, so I'm kind of going on the, the black lighting is a real nice trend right now. I'm really excited about this. In a second, okay. after we take a look at the okay. flowers, we're going to see what you did uh, with RBT kitchen. Right, yeah, just a few changes. Is this just something simple you can add well, and just Well, this is, I'm just impress? saying, if everyone's like, you know what, I'm just not ready to do that, but I think that you can do it, is just, you know, your kitchen's where you spend so much time, just do a few things, get a nice cutting board, beautiful wood cutting board, get a new linen tea towel, put out some flowers in a vase, just make it somewhere that you feel, you spend so much time there that you feel good being in it. You can get great uh, wood blocks at some of the uh, farmer's markets oh, as well. Oh, beautiful. Let's take a look at what you did to the BT kitchen using, I guess, a, a computer graphics yeah, program. Yeah, yeah. So all we did here oh, my is, goodness. is painted it white, because you know, again, I'm going with the white, and this is the stick-on subway tile. So this would be less than $200 Amazing. to do this yourself and a complete transformation. Thank you so much, Thank Carla. Thank you. Uh, we just need 200 bucks then, boss. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs>